often in your life do things go as planned? And how often in your life do you find yourself in a position where you're consistently having to reapproach your plans, right? And how well are you able to respond to situations like that? Do you view it as an adventure? Do you trust in the way things are flowing? Or do you feel a bit knocked off balance when suddenly you have your mind set on a particular outcome and you find yourself getting close, at least you think, to that particular outcome. And then in the very next moment, that outcome is just suddenly not there. Well, if you have a large degree of attachment to that particular outcome working out in a certain way, uh, especially if you are looking for that to provide a greater degree of stability or a greater degree of fulfillment in your life, of course you're going to find yourself in a position where you're not quite so happy about the situation that you're dealing with. As we approach the full moon, you're likely finding yourself in one area of your life in just such a scenario. Uh, what area of your life might that relate to? That's going to be dependent upon where the full moon is falling in your horoscope, planets that it might be forming aspects to, many different factors. And if you could use a little bit of help determining the impact that this particular full moon is likely to have upon your horoscope, please do feel free to schedule an astrological service through the astrological services page of my website. You can find the link to that just above. We like for things, in the most part, to be stable, right? Especially when we're wanting to rely on something and we're wanting to rely on someone. But, you know, we can't go through life making plans. And when you have one set of plans and that doesn't work out, do you need to have a set of backup plans? And do you need to set, have a set of backup plans to your backup plans and backup plans to your backup plans to your backup plans, kind of like looking in a mirror when you have a mirror behind you and then it just goes so deep so that you're trying to create this level of stability that cannot possibly be knocked off balance? Well, that level of security and stability that you're trying to create is not going to be created in your external world. And maybe that's a lesson that this particular full moon energy is trying to teach you. Quite often we find ourselves in a position where we think that we're facing a limitation or we're having a setback to our plans and we wanted things to go a certain way and then suddenly they're not going to go that way and we feel on edge, we feel frustrated, we feel like things are never going to change in the direction that we want them to. But quite often, that's because we think that we're in a position where we're controlling the outcome, right? And sometimes we need a little bit of reminder from the universe that we're not in charge of the way things go. Sometimes things go a certain way in response to the actions that we take, but it's not necessarily <laughs> that our actions are creating that outcome. So if you find yourself this week in a situation where you've applied a lot of energy and effort in a specific direction, and you've placed a great degree of your inner stability and inner security on the outcome that you think is going to come into being, and then suddenly it shifts and the plan is completely changed on you, and if you find yourself in a response to that situation where you're going, now I'm on edge. Now things that felt like they were really going to go in a good direction and I would be able to relax, now suddenly I don't feel like I can relax. Now I feel like I'm on edge again. I feel frustrated. I feel angry. I feel uneasy and uncertain about the way things are going to go. Well, guess what? Just relax because how often have you felt that way? And how often, when you have felt that way, have things ultimately worked out? And how often, <laughs> when you have felt that way, have things not worked out? And maybe it's that latter bit that really has you concerned. Because as we all know, sometimes we 
do come upon situations where things don't work out. You're needing to recognize with this particular scenario, however, that even though it may feel to you like you're being faced with a limitation or a setback, you may actually be being guided in a direction that's more appropriate for you. And it could just be that you were in a bigger rush for a solution, or perhaps you even thought that you had to create a solution in a much quicker manner than you were able to do, and you were beginning to feel the pressure of the situation, and that pressure built in combination <laughs> with that hyped up energy that made you feel like, gee, things are kind of close to the edge and I don't want things to get closer to the edge, so I better come up with a solution really soon. But that's all a game of the mind in many instances that's making you feel like you have less time than you actually do. And in just such a situation right now, as you find yourself where things are amped up, you're feeling on edge because you thought things were going to go one way and now they're going completely in another and you're feeling the pressure of time, recognize that things may be heading in a better direction. Maybe what you thought was where you needed to go is somewhere that ultimately is not going to work out to your benefit. Maybe you're not being restricted from the outcome that you desire, but maybe you're being guided to the very same outcome that you desire, only that outcome being fulfilled in a completely different manner. Pusha Nakshatra has this tendency to place restraint or restriction or boundaries upon us because we're needing to have those boundaries so we understand the direction that we need to go in. But the universe quite often speaks to us in those symbolic manners where, you know, it's not going to come right out and go, hey, you, I need for you to go in this direction. Instead, what it's going to do is it's going to create a limitation or a setback or it's going to uh, cap how high we can go in a particular scenario because that's the only way that it can show us that this is probably not the best thing for you. Some months down the line, you'll look back on this time where things were seemingly going in one direction and suddenly took a shift for another, and you'll recognize that what you thought was something that you didn't want, was something that was ultimately leading you to a solution that was going to bring you greater stability and greater fulfillment. And if you could use a little bit of help finding some extra direction and understanding what those loud noises in the pipes are all about, because really, ultimately, that's what that was all about, <laughs> I am happy to help you, not with the noise in the pipes, but with the noise uh, that's going on in your head in relation to a particular situation. And if you would like for me to do that for you, you can schedule in an astrological service through the astrological services page of my website. You can find the link to that above. That's going to do it for this look at the full moon in Pusha Nakshatra, which takes place on the 17th of January, 2022. Until next time, please do take the very best care of yourself. Bye now.